have a concern, sir. During the division of the state, uh, Polavaram was declared a national project, sir. And it is clearly state, stated in the AP Reauguration Act that Polavaram project is a national project and it will be executed by the center. But if you see today, sir, the execution of the project is not going according to plan anywhere. The funds for the project are not being given in time and it is no way treated like a national project, sir. Polavaram project is the lifeline of our state, Andhra Pradesh. During the division, they said that Polavaram project will be done, sir. It was there in the AP Reauguration Act. It clearly states. But if you see, there are various issues which are coming up, sir. During the course of the project, and because of the new land acquisition rules, the cost of the project shot up, the land acquisition and R&R cost shot up, and the central government and Jal Shakti approved the cost estimate at 55,548 crores. Uh, the technical advisory committee passed it in 2019, sir. But still now the finance department is yet to uh, ratify it and it's still pending for approval from the finance department, which is not good, sir. It is not happening with any uh, national project. And there is more surprising is that in any dam which is being built or the dams which are built previously in all the national projects, nowhere the drinking water component and the irrigation component was made separate, sir. Here, they are saying that the drinking water component is not part of this and we are going to exclude this amount which is 4,068 crores, which is not good, sir. You can't uh, build a dam and, said, uh, and say it, it's not meant for drinking, it's only for irrigation and if you are going to use for uh, drinking water purpose, we are going to reduce the amount. It is, it is not fair for the department to say this and we demand that the drinking water be also part like any other national project which have been, which have which have been done in our country and we also demand for removal of component wise restrictions sir in spite of all the restrictions we are having any I mean, during the course of the project there will be various components which will come up based on the designs so any change in components now they are restricting payments sir which is not good if you take for example a national highway project the length of the bridge might go up or the length of the road might go up, but still the execution happens, the whole road is completed. Nowhere they say that you know, now the component has increased, we will restrict the payment. It is not fair, sir. Why only for Polo Aram they are doing like this? So we demand that a removal of a component-wise restriction for Polo Aram project, which is, which has been, uh, the restriction has been imposed totally, really unfairly. And we also uh, uh, demand that the issues related to land acquisition R&R be sorted out. So as proposed by Jal Shakti, it was uh, requested that the LA bills be scrutinized and paid directly to the beneficiaries under DBT, but it, there's been extraordinary delay. The project is getting delayed. The cost of land acquisition is going up, which is a loss for the country and loss for the state, loss for the people, sir. So we demand that whatever you have promised here, you have, you have told clearly that Polarum is a national project and will be uh, constructed. So we are demanding that land acquisition money be paid immediately. And we also ask, because of all these uh, delays, we also ask, uh, the, we demand the central government for ad hoc fund of 10,000 crores. But if you see for any national project or a national highway project, the payments are done in, in just a week's time. But for Polo Arab project, for one bill to be paid, it is taking months and months, sir. How do we expect a project to be completed like this? So we demand that an ad hoc amount be paid so that the project execution uh, happens at a faster pace. And we also want to know from the government, sir, a national project has to be constructed by the center. Why? when your government was there in our Andhra Pradesh state, along with TDP, when your alliance was there, why did you give the execution to the state? And why are you imposing all these conditions? So it is, people should know why a national project has been mishandled so badly and why the execution was given to the state and why the people should suffer because of this. And there's one more uh, request, sir. After the division, based on the direction of uh, central government, that is a power system operation corporation limited so we have supplied power to telangana sir based on the central government thing the dues are yet to be paid so it's almost 6800 crores we request the central government to uh, step in and get our dues collected and if you mm -hmm. see the national food security act sir 
there is almost 60 percent of the population covered in National Food Security Act. And in the, the, with respect to Andhra Pradesh, the number of persons covered under NFCA is 2.68 crores, which is 60 percent population of Andhra Pradesh. But the Act clearly states that 75 percent of the rural population and 50 percent of the urban population is eligible for National Food Security Act. But in Andhra Pradesh, it is restricted to 60 percent for rural and it is restricted to 40 percent for urban, 41 percent for urban. So it is not fair compared to other states, for example, like Maharashtra or Gujarat or Karnataka, which are more economically stronger than us. They are getting 10 percent more beneficiaries and we are at a loss which is resulting in 56 additional uh, 56 lakh additional families not getting the benefits so our state government is in spite of all the financial problems we have come forward and we are actually taking care of the people with almost uh, 5500 crores so we request the central government to follow what uh, the niti ayog has said sir earlier the uh, committee headed by the finance secretary has referred it to Niti Ayog, sir. Niti Ayog clearly said that Andhra Pradesh is eligible for additional, whatever is the uh, gap is there in this uh, National Food Security Act. They, they said that wherever there is a provision, it has to be, uh, Andhra Pradesh needs to get it and it has to be increased. But uh, if you see, sir, there is under uh, NFSA, 3 lakh tons per month is an unutilized quantity. And we are requesting 77,000 tons in that, sir. We, the government doesn't need to uh, take any additional budget or government doesn't need to uh, make any changes in that. But they just have to alert from what is already alerted. And we, the state will be benefited because of that. And 